time to get a head start on living Winnipeg, I'll help you make your life in our city better than ever. I'll show you how to join a new kind of urban movement called parkour. And then there's parking, the parallel kind. We've got a refresher lesson. And how to pick the right pack here at Mountain Equipment Co-op. Welcome to the show. I'm here at the Mountain Equipment Co-op where people are busy leading active lives. But you won't believe how active this next group is. I first saw them down at the forks flinging their bodies around. You have to watch this. It'll blow your mind. That looks awesome. Thank what, you. What are you guys doing? Uh, actually, we're doing parkour or free running, as we kind of call it. So it's called parkour. Parkour, yes. And what's the whole point of it? Uh, parkour, the main purpose is to go A to B as quickly and fluently as possible, just using your urban environment, just your human body, nothing else. How does someone get involved if they wanted to try it out? Uh, basically, you just come out to our website and you can look at a jam or events as we call it. A jam is when you, yeah, you just get on, together yeah, and... On our website, out. we post when we're going out and people can just come as they wish and learn. We usually teach. Yes, first step is landing. Okay, but, do you want to show me? Yeah, sure. So, landing just kind of look like this. You want to jump in the air, kind of bring your feet up and then absorb the impact with your whole body. So, something like this. Okay. Uh, so that looks pretty simple. Yeah, that looks, that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. Okay, and then what's the next thing to learn after landing? Uh, the next thing would probably be a roll. So it looks something like this. You kind of want to bend your legs, put your dominant foot forward, put your hands in a triangle, kind of like this. And when you tuck down, it kind of just does it all for you. Okay, so it's sort of like a, a side yeah. turn. Yeah, you don't want to go over your, your whole spine like a somersault because you're going to hurt your back doing it that so way. So you don't want to do it straight on? Yeah. So it's sort of uh, from shoulder? Shoulder to the opposite hip. Okay, all right. <laughs> Hey, that wasn't so bad. Yeah. Now, do you put the two together ever? Yeah. Well, because you've got lots of forward momentum. Like, when you land, you want to kind of go into a roll so you don't go into the ground. So it looks something kind of like... So land and roll. Yeah. <laughs> you make it look pretty easy. Yeah. All right. Let's see if I can get this. <laughs> yeah, something like that. It just takes lots of practice and repetition. Right. So yeah. if someone's older, can they do it as well? Yeah, anybody can do it. It just takes lots of practice and repetition. And I guess taking little steps at a time. Yeah, little steps. Little footwork, you know, being aware of your surroundings and working on the small stuff before you do the big stuff. So you don't want to hurt yourself, right? So Tyler, maybe one day I'll be good enough to be where you are, but thanks so much for showing me the basic tips. Yeah, no problem. Come out anytime. All right, we'll see you later. All right, see ya. If you're interested in having a workshop with the parkour group, email media at winnipegparkour.com or call 223-4819. There's little or no charge, and most events they hold are profitable for charities. They also hold gym sessions at the Frank Kennedy Center at the University of Manitoba every Friday from 8.30 to 10 o'clock p.m. Anyone is welcome to come out and train. Admission is only $7. I parallel park the best when I'm by myself and no one's watching. A quick zip in, snug against the curb without hitting anyone's bumper. But when there's traffic waiting for me, I completely lose my cool and my parking skills. Well, Lori Hoogstratton gets some help behind the wheel from Larry Blair.